New concerns tonight over which people have a higher chance of contracting the coronavirus. KPI X5's Kit Doe spoke to a doctor at Stanford and asked who's most at risk. So if you've been following the coverage, you know that most people who die from coronavirus have been older and had severe underlying medical problems. The vast majority of patients did not have severe symptoms. So we're here at Stanford trying to answer the question, should we be freaked out right now? Would you go as far to say that all this attention and hoopla and fear is much ado about nothing? No, it's as much ado about something big. Iraq is the latest battlefront as crews are seen spraying a disinfecting fog at a mosque and authorities stepped up passenger screening at the airport. This hotel in Spain is under lockdown with customers forced to stay in their rooms after an Italian doctor tested positive here and Italy's biggest tourist attractions are still mostly empty. We came to Stanford to talk to Dr. Stan Derezinski who's been an infectious disease specialist for more than 40 years. He says the coronavirus could potentially infect millions around the world. The current death rate is about 2%. 2% has been snickered at by some people as a pretty small proportion, but um, that's when, you're, when you end up infecting millions of people, which as I said is quite likely, that's a lot of people. The Chinese CDC recently released a study of 44,000 cases and found those who died were mostly older with severe illnesses. But the Chinese study went on to say that about 80% of patients had symptoms that were mild. Lower risk of death certainly than is the elderly person with chronic underlying disease. So to hear you say that the vast number of people who get infected will be okay, that makes me feel a little better. Good. <laughs> At this point, Derzinski said there's not enough information to accurately predict how it'll all play out. But I don't think there's any reason to be anywhere near a panic at this time. Kitto, KPIX5.